David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another review. Today, I don't have a pen for you. What I do have for you is a number of notebooks, all from the same company, and that would be Odyssey Notebooks. I actually have six different notebooks to show you today, so you'll get a decent overview of Odyssey's offerings. Thanks go out to Odyssey Notebooks for providing what you will see today for review. Odyssey Notebooks are a U.S.-based company headquartered in Maryland and was founded by a woman with the colorful name of Rainbow. Uh, and many of their notebooks have celestial and uh, mythological themes. So, in order to take a closer look at this variety of notebooks, please join me over here at Camera 2. Okay, we have a lot of notebooks here, and most of them don't fit in the screen, but I just wanted to give you kind of a quick look at some of the things that we are going to be taking a look at. And to begin with, there is this B5 notebook. You see B5 notebook, it's a rather large, and there's a lot of things going on here. This one has 272 pages of 68 gram Tomoe River paper. Now, to the best of my knowledge, this is the original Tomoe River paper. Um, Odyssey had just received a large order of the paper before all of the changes with Tomoe River a while back. I won't go into all the details about the Tomoe River saga. There is plenty of information online about the changes to the brand. Um, this is a hardcover vegan leather. Uh, and it has a lay flat binding. Um, I had mentioned before, there's a lot of celestial themes here. This is the moon. They also have notebooks with uh, the earth and Milky Way. There's Saturn, sun. Uh, there's a few other things as well as a version which is blank. Um, this one has a bookmark as well. But let's take a look at some of the notebooks that actually fit better in the screen. Here we have a 48-page A5 booklet. Let me turn on its side so you can actually see the entire thing. Um, it is available in dot or lined or blank. This is Tomori River paper. Um, these are $8. You can purchase these notebooks in either 3 or 10 packs as well. And the price per booklet price reduces with the increased quantity. So for 10 books, uh, the price per booklet price reduces from $8 to $6, which is nice. And this booklet is slightly smaller than the standard A5 size. Next up, we have a nice notepad. Uh, you know, and something I didn't mention is that uh, the, uh, the entire line or most of the line for Odyssey Notebooks was recently picked up by Atlas Stationers. So you can uh, check them out on their site as well. Um, this is a nice notepad with the 68 gram Tomoe River paper. Uh, and, uh, you know, like what I would use this for is for letter writing. It's good to have individual sheets for letter writing. Um, I have a kind of a guide here for lines uh, that you could put underneath here. And the paper is thin enough to where you can see the lines underneath here. Uh, for me, I have a hard time writing. If I don't have lines, I have a hard time keeping it straight. So uh, whenever I'm writing letters, I'll use this. And this is really nice uh, letter writing letter. And it's kind of nice that then the individual sheets can tear out. Okay. Next up, we have this yellow notebook, which is 278 pages. And this is a standard A5 size. So this is slightly larger, like, uh, let me get the example here. You can see that this is the slightly smaller, and then this is the standard A5. This one is the sun. Um, here in the notebooks, you can see here, this one, they uh, do have some nice numbers on them. Let me go ahead and actually get here so you can see it. So you can see the numbers here in the corner. Uh, there is a back pocket in here, which is always nice to have, uh, as well as a color-coordinated bookmark. And then the elastic cover. And again, these are uh, available in dot or lined or blank. Then here is another one. This one is 200 pages, which is slightly less than the yellow one that you can see here. Um, this one has a black bookmark. Uh, and the uh, this one is actually the smaller size. Again, just one second so you can see the difference here. This is the smaller A5 compared to the standard A5. 
This one has 200 pages, and again, this one is blank. It has some nice page numbers down here in the lower right-hand and lower left-hand corners. Uh, and this one has a larger pocket in the back. The other one kind of had a half pocket. This one has a larger pocket. And then finally, we have my favorite of the bunch, which is this um, 500 page. And this is, again, an A5, which is available in a number of different colors. Uh, it's available in red or purple or blue, brown, and then there's black. Uh, in this picture, I believe they're still in their packaging. And so they appear a bit more shiny than they will once you take them out of their packaging. Um, it has a kind of a nice textured cover. Um, this is something I would definitely use. Uh, it has 500 pages of lined paper. Um, you know, for the longest time, I carried around a notebook like this. Uh, I would write my reviews in it and I carried it around with me wherever I went. Uh, and this is somewhat similar to that. And this is something that I could definitely see myself using and filling up. I, uh, I enjoy this size and it just has some heft to it. Uh, and I feel that this uh, outer cover, while it is not a hard cover, will stand up to somewhere and tear. Okay, let's actually do a little bit of writing. And for that, let's go ahead and use this booklet. Uh, and to start off with, let's go ahead and use a Pilot Falcon. And the ink for this, let's see here, this is a Pilot Falcon. And you can get some nice flexibility out of this nib. And the ink that I'm using here is uh, Andrillium. And this is Flapjack Octopus Orange. This is what the ink looks like. Um, Andrillium has a number of really neat inks. I'm gonna be reviewing some in the near future. They have a whole avian series as well as a cephalopod series. Um, this is part of the cephalopod series and this is the flapjack octopus orange. You know what, actually, let's go ahead and just do a little swab here so we can see how that looks on this Tomoe River paper. Okay, next up we have one of my favorite pens in my collection, which is from Rockster, which is the Daydreamer in this uh, maple, maple burl. So we have the Rockster Daydreamer. I find that this uh, medium stainless steel nib has a, a decent amount of feedback to it. Uh, kind, of a, kind of a nice feedback to it. You can kind of hear it. It just sounds a little bit different on the page. And the ink I'm using is one of my favorite purple inks. I just think a purple ink is appropriate with this purple pen. And that is Cross Violet. This is what the cross violet looks like. It's a nice vibrant purple. Uh, I really enjoy it. It's one of my favorite purples in my collection. This is what the bottle looks like. Um, let's go ahead and twist that off. Let's put a little sample on here as well. The Tomoe River does a good job of uh, making the colors pop. Next up is the latest pen that I purchased and added to my collection, something I'm really excited about. And this is the Namiki Yukari Royale. Um, this is a little bit smaller than the Emperor, but kind of has the same look to it. I'll have to review this in the fairly near future. And this is the Namiki Yukari Royale. This has a fine nib. I didn't mention it, but this cross violet was a medium. And then the Pilot Falcon is, we'll call it a flex medium. I find that uh, as opposed to the 
uh, medium nib on the Emperor uh, that is extraordinarily smooth. This one has a little bit more feedback to it. It's a, a little bit more biting, so to speak. And the ink that I'm using is one of my favorite inks to use in my Arushi pens, which is an ink that was uh, been discontinued, and uh, I, I'm glad that I have a little bit to last me a while, which is Franklin Christoph. Terra Firma. And you can see here that, that with this uh, Namiki that you do get a little bit of line variation out of this nib. It's not just kind of a straight, fine line, that there's a, a bit of a flare to it. This is what the ink looks like. Like I mentioned, it, it really matches well with a lot of Arushi pens, especially the Akatama Nuri pens. I just uh, uh, really care for it. Uh, this is what the bottle looks like. This is their larger bottle. Uh, and let's go ahead and do a little bit of a sample on here. Okay, and finally we have a 2.4 millimeter Pilot Parallel. And we'll just go ahead, and this is what I use in a lot of my ink samples. I have a, a variety of sizes of these and I use it for the header. So you have to really be careful to, to go at it straight on. You can't angle it at all or else it's not gonna write co correctly. So we have the Pilot Parallel. And the ink that I'm using is something from Pannonia. And, you know, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this. You know what? Let me go ahead and just bring it up here. And so you can see it. And then I'll copy it over here. Kika, Kika J? I'm not exactly how to sure I, let's say that. I, I'm sure I am butchering it. But K-E-K-E-K -E -E -K with an accent over the E. And then... K E with an accent K J E. This is what the ink looks like. It's a nice vibrant blue. Uh, it's something that uh, I need to review here in the near future. I have a number of Pannonia inks and uh, need to kind of give you a look at a number of them. They come in a nice large bottle here. Let's go ahead and open this up and have one last swab Okay, in regard to price, uh, I had mentioned previously that these are a lot of these are available on the Atlas Stationers website. Uh, they are also available on the Odyssey notebook website. I'll put links to both in the notes below. Uh, I had mentioned it previously, but this 48-page uh, A5 booklet is $8. Then in regard to some of the other ones, uh, the uh, notepad here is $14.50. Then these uh, notebooks, these A5s are $25. Uh, this soft cover here is $42. This is the one that I, I really like, and this is one that I'm, I'm going to get some good use out of. And then there's this B5 notebook, which is $44. Okay, so there you have a variety of notebooks and pads and booklets from Odyssey Notebooks. Uh, the paper is really nice. They have a nice variety of designs. And on top of that, I find them to be very reasonably priced. Um, as I mentioned, you can check out more on the Odyssey Notebooks website uh, or the Atlas Stationers website. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.